Hey everyone, it's Carrie over at Double Click. So today I wanted to share my new craft room. I am super excited that it is finally done. I moved into this house over a year ago and we just recently got it complete. So I'm super excited to share. I'll just give you a quick overview of it. Um, the room is about 10 by 10. It has no closet. It has these two beautiful front windows. And then this whole wall is just this sliding door. And then that is the rest of my house. So I'll take you around. Sorry, I am holding the phone. Um, but this is where I keep my work bag and my purse and all of my uh, wooden mounted stamps. Some of my favorite decorations I keep up there. And this is a Razka cart that I could just wheel out. And in the top of it, I have all of my post-it notes and cute notebooks. And this is where I also keep my enamel dots and little puffy stickers and any gems. I keep everything on rings so I could just pull the whole ring out and bring it to the station that I'm working in. On the second shelf, I keep all of my glitter and um, like some shaker pocket supplies like the beads and stuff for Happy Mail. And in the very bottom, I keep all of my sequin. Uh, I just keep it in the little baggies or little jars. And then I just keep it over here. And here is my Calyx unit from Ikea. And on the top, I keep all of my twine and some extra twine. And those are like little uh, buds for the flowers. And this is where I keep like all of my ticket type things. I have like a little ticket punch and then these are all different kinds of tickets. And in here I just have, um, it's a kit that has all matching pieces, I think from, from Michael's. And I, this is bulletin board, but it's corrugated. So that makes great layers. And then this is stuff for embellishments. And back here is more little kits that belong together. Um, you know, for like making albums and stuff. So I do try and keep that stuff together. Um, my spare ATG gun. And I keep all my mini embellishment sticks in here. And then all my giant straws in here. And in these I have um, just everything silver related I keep in there. And then gold stuff I have in this drawer. And then here I just keep spare uh, cards and envelopes. And on top, I um, these are just paper spools from Hobby Lobby, some miscellaneous charms. Um, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, some action wobbles are in there. Some flowers and some of my decorations, my little Pokemon guy. Pikachu and some bling and in these in this top unit I keep chipboard my bind it all and then the supplies and all the rings are behind it and then this is all of my scrap paper and in here I keep freckled fawn stuff and this whole unit in here is freckled fawn I keep all my freckled fawn stuff separately and this is probably one of my favorite companies, so that's why I keep it separate. And yeah, the unit's also from um, Ikea. I mean, I like it except that, you know, I wish it was deep because then this unit kind of falls behind and you got to push it out. But I guess I could stick something back there. Anyway, um, this is where I keep all of my baby paper. So I keep my papers in this unit because the paper fits without it bending. So I keep my paper in these units and then I'll show you where I keep all of the embellishments. 
So this is baby paper, pads, um, page kits, and then I picked up these little uh, racks at in uh, from Amazon, and in them are all my mini like baby paper pads. And then the bottom one is sports related. So same thing, I keep the big paper pads and then this is like cheerleading stuff and softball stuff. Stuff that I don't have a lot of, but this is where I would look in the sports. So I keep it in one of those dollar stores that block bags. And then these are my smaller um, paper pads for school and sports that I keep um, in the white rack. And this one is all Christmas, so all my Christmas paper. I do keep a couple of my kits together in these bags over here. And then in here is just some miscellaneous Christmas stuff that I've acquired recently. And I just keep it in there so I don't have to, I'll show you, climb up to put it away. And in here I keep all of my um, double-sided tapes and rollers. And behind these, I keep all of my liquid glues. And these, um, I just, I stick my glues in there just so that um, I don't have to pull everything out. So I just stick them in there because I don't have anything else that goes in these right now. In this bin, I have all of my um, mixed media and painting supplies. So I have brushes, markers, gesso, that kind of stuff, my stencils. I just keep it all in this bigger bin. And in here, all of these are eyelets. And then over here, I have um, things all sorted. Sorry about that. By, like these are all of my charms. And these are some of like my wooden pieces, buttons, miscellaneous stuff. And these are all resin pieces and, you know, hearts, just miscellaneous things. And then I have um, these two are brads and these are like letters and ABCs. And back there I just keep uh, extra an extra container of miscellaneous gems and uh, bling stuff. All right. Over here, I keep all of my bigger Sizzix dies, and they are stacked in front of each other, so if I was looking for something, I would have to, you know, like pull these out, because they are back there and underneath this little rack. And... Here I keep all of my decorative scissors and this little box I just keep all my like vintage stickers and washi tape in. And in here I keep just um, all of my different types of tabs that I have. So um, I just put them all together and when I'm looking for one I usually just pull this out and just some extra glitter glue. And down here is another mixed media. I have some paints back there, paint brushes, oil crayons. And then in this basket, I keep gesso and sealants and other specialty brushes. And then these are all of my sketchbooks and my more stencils and um, painting specialty papers. And down here, I keep Primarily like um, chipboard sheets and if I had like duplicate paper pads I will put them in here. Extra blank cardstock, page kits, I'll just keep them uh, together and over here. Um, and then this whole side is pre-made page kits from someone, I don't know, probably a class, 
but I found them at Goodwill and they have matching papers and tons of embellishments. And I've been taking them and making my own handmade embellishments out of them. And I absolutely love it because everything matches. And then like, this is also how I store like my kits. So this is like the Bliss kit from My Mind's Eye. And I have the paper pad, the chipboard, any embellishments that come with it and I just keep it in another like these Ziploc bags from the Dollar Tree that they're like really big and down here I keep all of my Halloween paper my Halloween page kits and then in here I keep all my mini Halloween uh, paper pads all right moving back up we have this unit and I just keep um, like all of my gems in this one and my bling in this one and in here I have just like post-it notes and stickers and I use these mainly when I make albums just to add little things to each of the pages and over here I keep my recipe cards, index cards and mini file folders. Over here I keep all of my journaling um, pads and these primarily I use for my um, the albums that I make for people because they're just lots of uh, areas for people to journal on so I just stick them between the pages. And then this is where I keep all of my crinkle ribbon. And back there I have extra supplies and then I have my shipping like tape and stuff that I keep um, in this blue basket and down here is all of my sheet protectors it, no matter what the size or type I keep them in here all together um, on this one shelf and down here I keep my unopened project uh, life cards so I keep um, most of them on my other Razcog card but I haven't opened these ones yet so I just I have them here until I open them and find a place for them and then I also keep um, this is my Valentine's Day paper over here so that's kind of um, this side of the room my unit and then right next to it I have this uh, wire rack that I did have at my other house and on it I can tell you the best part of moving into this room was I really had to like utilize every square inch and super sort every single thing that I had to make it work and it's not as convenient as at the other house where I had plenty of room, but I absolutely love it. And um, it's so organized. I know where everything else, I know where pretty much everything is. So I, I, I'm so happy with it. But in this top bin, I keep things that I need to do. So like, I think these are duplicate stamps. I need to check more thoroughly. This, like I want to break apart by holiday. It's just cut aparts that I need to take care of. Um, on here, I keep my matte paper and anything that's like state related is there. And then in here are papers that I would use to make albums. So the papers match and they're durable. So this is album paper. This is all um, music paper. So either cardstock or actual music sheets that I've gotten at vintage places. And then I ha keep like, I have music washi tape, a music punch, and I think some brads back there. And here, in this one I have specialty papers, so anything that's crinkled or a certain material, um, I don't know, you know, specialty paper, I keep it here. <laughs> and here I keep um, like clear acetate, uh, vellum sheets, um, Things like that are here. And then this is all of my uh, glitter paper. I have some glitter foam back there. And then just big glitter sheets um, I keep there. And then this is all my corrugated paper. 
kind of keep up there. And in here, this is a old fashioned like scrapbook. And what I've done with it is I have made my own sheep protectors. And I think I have a video up on my channel. These are all border, um, borders from, I don't know, way back when, when they used to sell like border packs. So what I've done is I've just sorted them all and made the sheet protector to fit them. And then I can just flip through this book and pick whichever, you know, border color works for me. And I love this because I used to have them in this big bin and I never used them, but now I just have to pull my book and I flip through it. And it fits perfectly on that shelf. It's super high, <laughs> but it's all of my borders. So I love that. And then in here, I, these are just the empty folders. And then this is where I keep my scrap um, plain cardstock in here. And up here, this is um, projects that I'm working on. So this is Happy Mail that I'm making for a pen pal. This book, which I will be showing at a later time, I made for one of my um, student athletes for her graduation present. So I have to get that wrapped up. And then this is happy mail for one of my pen pals and more happy mail for my pen pals. And then I keep my graphic 45 paper and my quick quotes, quick quotes um, paper pads up here. These are paper sets. So similar to the albums, these are just papers that belong together for me to make albums with. And in here I keep all of my um, envelope templates um, cause I do like to sometimes just hand cut envelopes out when I'm, uh, bored. So I keep them up there and up here I have, this is old polka dot paper, anything with polka dots. I just keep up there. And then these are more like kit type things that I don't have paper pads to match with. So I just keep them up there. And then this is old zoo or pet related paper pads. And then this is like just miscellaneous um, good card stock that I don't have anything to match or if I want to just practice a project or I'm using it for the school, then I'll just use the paper from here. And then the same with this. This is just good colored miscellaneous card stock in this one. So that's the top shelf. And then down here, this is where I keep like my clear sleeves for the cards that I make. And in here I keep all of my wooden embellishments. And in here I keep my stamps and I've started very slowly the process of trying to sort through them, but I'm not through that process yet. But like these are all of my peachy keen uh, face stamps. And I think they're still in business for a while. They, I think they stopped making stamps, but I think they're back to making stamps now. So anyway, these are all my peachy keens. And then I have like baby and kids, everything that's weather related. And I do keep some of like my stamp and dies in with just the stamps. And I do keep all my just dies separately. So yeah, so these are all just stamps that I'm in the middle of sorting. And that's the same with down here. These are all stamps. Actually, these I think are stamps and dies. So I haven't started sorting these yet. These are all just stamps that have a die that go with them. So still working on those. And then this binder is all, sorry, I have stuff clipped to the side. These are all mini stamps, like the ones that they used to sell for a dollar at Joann's and Michael's. I just put them, I'll pull it out if I can. Um, the ones that they used to sell at Joann's and Michael's. So I just keep them in these baseball protector sleeves. And um, if I'm looking for something, I just 
takes me just a minute to flip through and I pretty much know what's in here because I've had these stamps for so long. I've seen them like a million times. But anyway, I keep them in this binder and they stay safe and clean in here and they don't fall out or anything. So that's what I keep over here. And then underneath this stamp, I keep all of my eyelash trim and I put it all in this basket and then I put like a little flat cover on top of it and I fed each of the eyelash trims through the holes. So when I when I need it, I just pull it and snip it and it keeps it all contained. So I love how this works because I didn't know any other way to store it. So this works out perfectly for me. And then in here I keep all just basic envelopes and card bases that I use regularly. So I keep that there. And then in here I keep my Cricut cartridges because I still use the original Cricut. So um, these are all the cartridges that I use and I just keep them there. And I'll show you where I keep the books here on the other side. Um, in here I keep just vellum, um, embellishments and stuff. And in here I keep all of my rub-ons. So like I'll go pull this drawer if I'm working in my planner where I don't want any bulk, but I want to add something, then I'll usually come into here and um, flip through here when I'm making projects. And then on this, this shelf is all stamps as well. And like I said, I am working on sorting them. So I started, you know, doing that mixed sentiments, invites, sports, food. And over here, same thing. Like these are new stamps that I just, just came across or they weren't in the mix. So these are ones I have to take care of. And then, yeah, just lots, lots of stamps. So, and then these are also stamps. These, I've been trying to keep these like holiday related on this side. And, um, yeah. So back here, I, I have, I get that, um, that UK magazine that usually comes with a stamp and a die. So what I do is I pull those off and they're all back here. And when I finish going through my stamps, I'll put them where they belong. Some of them are holiday, some of them aren't, some of them have dies. So eventually I'll get to that. And then back there, I don't know if you could see, this is where I hang my Cricut mats. I just hook them to the underside of the, um, of my wire rack. And then I also keep my embroidery hoops for happy mail back there. Okay. So the bottom one, the bottom rack I keep, these are all paper kits that I've gotten over the years. And they used to sell these at like Joann's and Michael's. And yeah, <laughs> I always say I'm going to use them and you know how that goes. So yeah, anyway, these are these are the new ones that I got at Hobby Lobby when they went on super clearance. So I keep all my page kits down here. And when I get more than just like the little kits like this, I got the little kit and then I found like extra things to go with it. I just move it to a large bag and add all the extras into it. So that's the same. This is like all carnival themed. This is a big page kit and yeah, so that works out good. And then in here, this is where I keep those UK magazines until I read them. And then in here I keep um, like specialty papers. So let me see if I can get this to focus. So this is like um, ocean and clouds. These are words, graph, so uh, gingham. So very specific when I'm looking for something, I come right here and I just grab it. And then over here, I sort, these are um, just kits that I made myself. Like this is primarily primary colors. This is like everything family related. Like if it says brother, sister. Um, this one is graduation. This is wedding. This is anything that I own that's Hello Kitty. And then this is all very birthday specific. I just have this slide door 
And so this I used to have at my old craft room. It holds some of my punches. I had to purge. I purged more than half of my punches. It was so sad, but I really just did not have the space for them. So I kept my absolute favorites and I have them in two different spots. So anyway, my husband just bent these uh, door clips super tight um, so that I could suspend this in the air. And I'll show you where how the location is. It doesn't really affect what I have over here. So I'll explain that here in just a minute. So this is where I keep some of my um, happy mail that I've received that is for outgoing happy mail. So people's packaging that they've made for me to use elsewhere. So this is like happy mail stuff. And link below, I I do like to have pen pals. So if you're in the US, you can uh, direct message me through my Instagram, which is double click connect to see if you'd be interested in pen paling. I do like to pen pal. I love to craft. So uh, my information is also in my um, in my information on YouTube. So up here, I have this little basket that I just keep miscellaneous smaller scrap pieces of paper. And then these are just like, um, I don't know, just items that I, I didn't know where to put. So I just clipped them up there for now. Um, back here in this basket that I got from Ikea, I keep my rolls of paper. So this is like a, a, a hot mat. Uh, those large paper pat rolls from Hobby Lobby, the Tim Holtz paper, some wax paper, uh, another mat is back there. And this is like dry erase uh, paper, so you can make projects that's dry erase board. And then in this one is all of my vinyl that I just keep rolled up in here. And I never use vinyl, um, so that's why I don't mind that it's down here in this like awkward uh awkward corner because I don't really access it that much and down here are just like my bigger bigger punches and they only goes like 3d because I knew I couldn't reach all the way back there and then these are just some of my uh, border punches um, that I keep up here so um for those of you that maybe don't know I've been crafting since 2009 so I have acquired obviously a large amount of supplies most everything I have has been through Goodwill yard sales swaps or only if it's on sale clearance or with a coupon <laughs> so I'm uh, yes uh, a hoarder of supplies but at bargain prices swapping and I actually do sell my products I make products for people for charity and I make special requests for people that are in need so I do use my supplies for good not I don't just only hoard my stuff so anyway with that being said I know that some people don't understand um, how we acquire so much but um, you know it, it's a hobby slash business um, anyway so up here I have like these are 12 inch stamps. I don't want them getting bent or ruined, so I just clip them up there. These are just some giant rolls of ribbon that I just, you know, uh, I attach to these clips. And here, I had cases of all these fiber and ribbons that I never accessed because they were in a box. So I just unwound them. And now when I want one, I just clip it off the bottom. And I'm actually using ribbon a lot more now that I've um, done it this way. So in here, oh, that's my dog. Winston, come here. Come here, buddy. He's so handsome. <laughs> he sees the shadow. My front door is kind of like see-through, so he sees someone out front. Um, anyway, up here is all of my alpha stickers. Um... I just keep them all in one place and when I need this bin which is not frequently because I usually just stamp uh, my stuff out um, this this bin just does I just pull it off and there's enough room between the wall and here for me to put it right here um, without hurting myself so each bin is labeled so this has um, some wooden stamps that I don't normally uh, use and I know it's silly to have them in here because the, the 
the, the chance for me to use them is pretty slim in this weird box. But when I finish going through these stamps, hopefully I will be able to pull these stamps onto this other shelf over here. Um, in here, I keep all spare envelopes because I do make envelope flip books. So this is pretty much all envelopes. And then here are cards and envelope sets. And down here is spare um, cutters and spare cuddle bug plates and spare things like tools. And this is a brand new unopened Sizzix um, that I got at Goodwill for $7. So I picked it up because I keep breaking the plate that's in my cuddle bug here um, using these and the other dies. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna just use the machines for what they're intended for so I stop breaking those plates. So these, this machine I'll be using with those bigger dies and then my cuddle bug I'm gonna be using for embossing folders and then that machine I'll use for my cutting dies, hopefully. Anyways, this is a large wicker basket and what I use this for is when I do card shows, um, all of my cards that I make fit in there um, for people to flip through. And um, this is just where I keep my wrapping paper for like my happy mail. Okay, so on this wall, um, my husband installed two wire racks across the whole length. And now I keep my paper by theme in these drawers so they don't get bent. And you can see all this side in video number one. But in these units that I got at Michael's, um, I keep one of them is all baby embellishments and the other one is Halloween. And then in these boxes, because I make baby albums primarily, I have baby and baby, anything baby related, meaning there's embellishments, stickers, charms, um, anything that's not paper is in those bins. And then in here, I have Halloween, Halloween decorations, primarily for um, happy mail that I send to people. And then all of these are Christmas. And I really had no idea how much Christmas stuff I had until I started sorting it to um, try and get it under control. But when, you know, those 90% off clearances happen after the holidays, I'm all about that. And now that I see how much I have, I have not been buying any craft supplies like at all. So um, this was really fun to actually sort through. And these bins were on clearance at Ikea and they fit perfectly um, to fit all my stuff up there. So I have those temporary labels on there because I wasn't sure if this is how I was gonna keep it, but I'm definitely keeping it this way. So what happens is, is when I craft, so say I'm making a baby album, I um, pull my stool that I keep over here. It's right there. And I put it right here and I climb up and I grab the box and I put it right here. <laughs> and then from there, I move it to right here. And so I have, I make it where everything is accessible so that I could easily craft. In my other house, I had a very large room and everything was easily accessible. And this room's smaller, so I'm making it work. I'm so grateful that I even have a room. We downsized to a really small house and I am so lucky that I have this. So I love it. I love how I, I have a system and it seems to really be working. And you know what, if it doesn't work, I'll change it up. For right now, it works perfectly. So in these bins, let's see, this one is empty. This has um, some glitter, smaller pieces of paper. This is like chip dye pieces, chip dye pieces. Those are my pony beads and stick pins. And then there is all my googly eyes. And in here I have glue dots, buttons, brads, um, clips, charms and eyelets, extra bling, pop dots, pop dots, and this, uh, I have, this is probably empty because I did label this stuff. So this must be another empty bin. 
So this is all extras. I know that sounds terrible, but um, if I already had it, it's like already broken out into one of these. So this would be extra things that I've purchased that I pr probably already have duplicated in my actual stash that I use. So I started labeling these and I will do a uniform label once I am for sure that this is how I'm keeping it. But I have religion related, anything that has fruit. These, that's like embellishments, uh, stickers, um, ribbon, that kind of stuff. This is my Pink Fresh Studio, Amy Tangerine. Anything that like kind of is very boy specific, like robots and monsters, I keep in there. This is travel, goodies, school, spare school stuff. So like I do have stuff spread out like I have school there and then I have school and sports down there, but I know it. And so it just, I'm okay with that. This is baking. So I, I keep my baking stamps, um, baking papers, and then I do keep my recipe cards somewhere else though. I keep them over there. And then this is another one that's just sports related and that's prim primarily like sticker books, project life cards, um, things like that. So if I'm making a sport album, which I am a coach for high school, so I do make my athletes albums, I would just pull the sports and the school and then that stack of papers when I'm making my album. Um, up here I keep my girly like mermaid, sweet treats, fairy stuff up there. And this is like weird stuff like yellow, gray, and blue stuff that I have a really hard time matching stuff to. And so I keep it all in there. That way if I come across something, I'm like, boom, goes in there. And hopefully I'll be able to make something with it. My dog is behind me. <laughs> um, this is everything 4th of July. Um, 4th of July is also my anniversary, so I always make uh, a page for me and my husband. So I love to have lots of fun goodies that's 4th of July related. And then these two are both St. Patrick's Day and Easter goodies. Um, I don't have a lot of paper for those, so I think some of these smaller ones that I don't have like a lot of paper, I do have the paper in the bottom of the bins. And then up here I keep... It says dad and mom, I think, and zoo. <laughs> so I have stuff that's like for Mother's Day, Father's Day specific, and then zoo that's related um, in that one bin because there just wasn't enough for the stuff to have their individual bins. So that is in there. And then in this one, it's autumn and fall. And I took a trip to Costa Rica and I, my album is like 80% done and I'm just... I don't know, you know, like I've lost my motivation, but I have all of the supplies that I was using in this bin and I don't want to pull it apart because I need to finish the album and I just, I need to just buckle down and do it. If not now, when? I mean, we're in quarantine. I'm never going to have more time than I have right now. So I do need to pull this out and just get it done. Um, in here is my Disney, um, all my Disney papers, punches, washi tape, and I... I'm not a Disney person. However, I somehow have acquired all this stuff, but I know a lot of my pen pals are, so I love making them Disney specific items. So I'm glad that I have this stuff. And up here is all my Chamel, my Simple Stories. Probably Simple Stories is one of my favorite um, paper lines. I just love all of their big um, prints. So I really do like Simple Stories. Uh, fancy pants. I have a lot of miscellaneous kits uh, that like nothing really goes together. I don't have enough of one thing to make anything. So I keep it separate and every once in a while I, I score something that goes together and yeah, I don't know. Um, in here I keep my quilling supplies, my foam mount to like unmount and remount stamps and just like weird stuff that I don't use that often. Okay, so oh, that's my top two shelves. Um, and then down here, this is um, an Ikea corner unit. And then these are all Ikea drawers, which I love those drawers. So I guess, let's see, 
we'll start up here. I don't know how long I can do videos on YouTube for, so I don't want to go too long. Um, this upper shelf, my husband put in, um, he actually used like, I wanted a shallow shelf for my embellishments because I didn't want the shadow over here. And then he cut this one down and then he was like, hey, I can put you a little shelf up there. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> so this is where I keep all of my stickles and all of my liquid pearls and it works out perfect. I love it. It's adorable. Um, this is where I keep all of my, my cording and my fun twine. And then these are just like my spare clips. And then these are little things that some of my friends have gifted me and I love them. So in these boxes is where I keep all of my ephemera. Oh, I, I used to keep my ephemera in those boxes and it wasn't working like at all. I never reached for them. I could never find what I was looking for. So in these boxes, I just flip through and I'm sure some of you are going, oh my gosh, this, do you remember K and Company? These are like the originals. That's how long <laughs> I've had this stuff for. Yes, the originals. And then this company, do you guys remember these people, Creative Charms? I have uh, tons of supplies from them and they're not in business sadly anymore. So of course I hoard those. Um, Heidi Swap goodies. I try and keep this stuff somewhat in order so that when I have in my mind, okay, this is what I'm looking for. I kind of have an idea of which book to flip through, which box to flip through. Um, do you remember these, Jolie's? Oh, I love looking at all these things. So much fun. Anyways, um, and as I go through these and find things that may, maybe I could break down into something more specific, I will do that as I, you know, work more in my craft room. Like I said, we literally just finished like last weekend. So um, I've been working in here, but not like, I've been sewing more than I've been paper crafting the last couple of days. So um, yeah, anyway, so this is all of my ephemera. This is all, um, this is duplicate ephemera. So stuff that I know is already out in one of these. So this is like my extras. And then here, um, here are the cards that I make. Um, and people come and buy them or they put in a special request. And um, yeah, so this is what I do one of the things that I do and I just keep them in the bin so people could flip through and I have them kind of in order for themes so they could pick out um you know the card that they're looking for okay so I think I'm going to try and do like this one in this video and then I think I'm going to have to stop so these are the wire kitchen racks from Ikea um I had a different idea originally when I um, got them and then it didn't work out and so I was going to return them but I really didn't want all shelves um, coming out onto um, my desk space. So what we did was we just found clips that we bent and made all of, I had a big magnetic board at my other craft room so we just fed these hooks through all my baskets and we just made it work. And then some of them have giant magnets, like this is magnetic, and it just stuck to this board. So up here I just keep spare tools, things that I don't wanna forget that I have when I craft like pearls and canvas leaves and words and extra buttons. And this is where I keep like my spare clips and empty um, boxes, my Cricut markers, funnels and Cricut supplies. Um, these are just some word stickers that I keep up there. Um, inspirational quotes that I like to put in albums. Um, cork pieces. More tools. Some of my little cute mushroom. My little magnet guys. Um, this is my mail basket. And I keep... I don't know if you guys know about these stamps are like from the 90s. <laughs> 
and they're so fun. I got them at Goodwill. They were half off, so they were 35 cents, but they're like stamped images. And I ran, I stamped these out and ran them through my scan and cut and they stamped out. Oh yeah, they're right here. They stamped out. Amazing. So this is all my mail related stamps and stickers. And this is what I use like when I send out my happy mail. So I think I said, um, my Instagram is linked down below and um, cause I'm always looking for pay for pen pals in the U S. Okay. So in here, I just keep some of my glue pens, some chalk and my brother scan and cut tools. And in here I have all my paint markers, um, my crop a dial, um, an eyelet thing, inspirational quotes, everything will be just fine. And I actually should have that like front and center right now. Um, these are just some like uh, tissue paper cutouts. Um, these are some highlighters and white gel pens. And I actually checked every single pen before it came in this room to make sure that it worked. Otherwise, I got rid of it. Um, these are all um, more, more pens. These are like, uh, these are the Wink of Stellas and specialty uh, embossing markers, fabric markers. These are some of my... Um, Ranger. I don't really like these. They dry out and yeah, I'm not a fan of those. Um, these I found at Goodwill for half off. They were brand new, but the Tombrow dual brush, I like those. Uh, these are some of my baby dolls that I had. Uh, I had these when I was a kid and then these are troll babies, one of a kinds and they're sleeping in like a little nest. And so this is, this was a find at Goodwill and it's like a tape, like price gun, but I use it. I'm going to show you like, it's a date stamp. I use it as a date stamp and I, I love it. <laughs> it's just so different and unique and it's just perfect, um, to like add extra accents to like your projects. Um, okay. So these are my Copic markers. Um, yeah, I keep them out, and so I, I do actually use them more than I uh, used to use them. And then in these bins, okay, so I keep extra candy. These are all my roller stamps. Um, this is like, um, what are these called? Um, you know, like to hook charms. They're the lobster claws and stuff. This is a uh, cording for my albums. Uh, this is all tassels. This is all wax seal. Uh, this is more charms, some made, and then other ones that need to be made. And then here are my cupcake liners. And then coming up to this little area, um, these, I, what I did was I took all of my like little embellishments and I just took a couple of each so that when I'm crafting, I remember, um, all the things that I have. And so, um, I've made little containers with all my different little things. So I'm like, oh yeah, I, I have one and it's right there instead of trying to remember what I have. And then I keep sequin and then I keep my double click Skittles and some more sequin and they're just all conveniently in these um, cases and they just fit perfectly up here and up here I keep all of my um, pear pins pear pins these are just matching eyelets and brads you know these little kits that they used to um, sell back in the day and then a couple of snaps, different kinds. I just keep them out so I don't forget that I have them. And then in here, I keep pre-made labels that I've cut out on my brother scan and cut. These are address labels for my happy mail. And then these are just all different labels for uh, projects. And up here, I keep all of my handmade embellishments um, that I put for decorating my happy mail. In here is like wire and flower like stuff. And um, in here, I think I keep like my daubers for my ink. And um, 
these like these are just bags of embellishments but like I said they're broken down into these so these are just the extras bottle caps flowers sprinkles more flowers these are all my as all well. these are the sprays that I would use the most embossing powders these are all the pony beads that I made in my oven and melted them down these are some gems from my pen pal and some trim that I use when I decorate for um, Happy Mail. And then I hang some of my running medals up because I am a runner. And I just, you know, like having them in my craft. Room. And this whole area, so we're gonna move down. I have the original Cricut. I got it in 2009 as a gift for my husband. And I love this one. I had a newer one, which I got rid of, and I just keep my old one. I keep my cartridges in alphabetical order in this little drawer. And if anyone has Cricut cartridges that they're gonna be getting rid of and would like to do a trade, please let me know, because I'm always looking to add to my original Cricut um, stash. So you can DM me on Instagram at DoubleClickConnect, or you can, my information is here somewhere on YouTube. I'm not sure where, but I know it is. Um, okay. Anyway, so I love my Cricut. Um, my Cricut mat I keep back here and this is like my landing zone. So when I move boxes from up above or off to the side, they go right here into this area and nothing interferes. We made sure that everything fit in this area. I love my Cricut. I love it so much. It's wonderful. Um, okay, so these are my Cricut books. <laughs> I know some people probably don't even understand what this is, but back in the day, you had to buy a Cricut for each specific cut, you know, theme that you wanted, and you would get a mat and a book for the cartridge cutout, the, the image cutout, and yeah, I mean, this is mine. <laughs> so these are in alphabetical order. It's pretty funny. What I do is I rotate the boxes because when I want to make something, I'll just pull a book and just pick something. So I noticed I was always picking ones from the letters A through whatever it was F. So now I rotate my boxes. So I use different cartridges. <laughs> um, and anyway, this is the scan and cut. I bought this used off of a good friend of mine and I love it because I have 50 million stamps. I do not like to fussy cut. So I've got these new mats on Amazon and it works perfect. I love it. I love it so much. So, um, yes, my brother's scan and cut. Um, I kind of went through these already, my markers, what was in those drawers. So in this little corner area, I'm not necessarily a planner, but I do daily journaling and to-do lists and track um, my life. So um, I'll show you like a blank one that I have of just, you know, things that I just decorate it every single week to keep myself accountable and on task because normally I do work and I actually still am working outside of the house. I work for an essential business, but I also coach and I'm not coaching right now makes me so sad my heart is broken about it but anyway um i this is where i do all of my uh journaling and daily tasks so it's a corner desk and i love 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 it so from here um actually i guess we'll finish it right here so this is where i keep all of my flowers and i opened all the packages and put them in color order um that way Maybe I'm more likely to use them. I used to use flowers for everything now, not so much, but anyway, now they're out and easily accessible if I want them to be. And in here, this is stuff that I just use regularly when I'm making um, embellishments or stuff for my books, um, just die cuts and things I've cut out of paper pads, things that have been gifted to me, tags that I practice on. So yeah, I just keep these easily accessible. That way I could just flip through and use them. And then these were in like these giant packages. So I just open them into these little bins and I can just use them on my albums. And this is stuff that I fussy cut when I'm needing to like decompress. I'll just come in here and fussy cut stuff. And I keep that in there. And then these are some miscellaneous stickers because I like to put stickers on my projects. So that's there. 
And I guess I'll come down to here and then I'll go back up. So I have these three Ikea drawer units, super heavy, like ridiculously heavy. Um, but they act as the legs for this Ikea top and I love them. So in my first one, I keep, I'm actually going to pull my stool so I can sit down and do this. So in here, I keep all of my bows nice and organized and I just like to stick bows on everything. So that's kind of perfect. And down in here, I keep tissue paper, crepe paper, weird paper, um, mainly stuff that I use for either wrapping Happy Mail or using uh, with handmade embellishments. So keep that there. And in this one is uh, like tools. So I have a spare heat gun that I found at Goodwill for $2, my ribbon iron, uh, spare Cricut supplies, my cutter needles, some extra scissors, spare glue guns. Um, I actually don't know. Oh yeah. My, I label all my wires. I say, I don't know what this is too, but this is to my Cricut. I don't have a computer in this room, so it, you could hook it up to your computer, but I don't. Um, so yeah, so just spare supplies and tools in this drawer. And in this one, I keep all of my punch boards. So my envelope, um, my treat box. Um, uh, this is like a flower one. And then I have the pinwheel one down there, the pinwheel supplies, my spare scissors. And then I keep like my paper cruncher and my crop -a dial down there. And then I keep directions to how to use some of the punches and machines underneath. And then my bottom one, I keep, uh, this is all my, my big tag. Um, we are memory keepers, punch tool, my grommet tools. This is one of those giant, like 12 inch staplers. And then I have extra staplers and then I have weird staples, you know, like this. I don't know if you guys remember this. It's those weird uh, staples and then these are the staples that like fit into there so that is those and in this side I keep all of my inks so I purged almost all of my inks except um like the embossing ones um I did purge all of my large Tim Holtz ones because I just got the mini ones which was easier for me to store um, and then I just picked these up on clearance at Hobby Lobby and this, I, I don't have any of these, but it was on clearance. So I picked it up, some extra sponges and in here are some more wooden stamps. These I'm more likely to use just cause I can see them all. And, um, so yeah. And in this one I have more tools. So this is like my, um, so I had one of these, what was this called? The around the block, it was the paper piercer. And I accidentally broke the needle and I can't find it. If anyone knows where I could find this small needle, I'd be so grateful for you to tell me because I have all of these supplies that I can't use. So I found this gun online and it's like an actual clothing piercer. So it does work with the paper, but I don't like these large tags that it comes with. So yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things. Um, and then here is, I have a lot of old school tools. This is that, um, it was the mini curling tags tool. So I have all of the tags here and, um, I traded with one of my old blogging friends years ago for the tool. She sent me the tool and I had bought all the clips not knowing you needed a tool so luckily I was able to find the tool and yeah and then this is my uh, Smashbook label maker I really want to get my hands on another label maker 
um because i have all of these and i only have this one so that is on my list of things to hopefully find i try and find my stuff at goodwill or trade it with my pen pal so if someone wants to trade let me know because you know i love to trade my stuff so yeah that's in there and then i found this amazing tool and i love this thing at um tuesday morning it's like a clip tool and it pushes the clips onto paper. Like you have to have the tool to do it. So I was able to find the tool and then I was able to find all these super fun clips with all these different themes. So those work perfect for my album. And then this is like one of those, um, it was like the iRock, do you remember that? Where it melted the stones? I just sold mine, but this is like the paper scratcher thing, which I haven't used this one yet because I just have like my distress tool, but yeah, so I have that in there. Okay, in here I keep all of my envelopes and bags. So I don't know about you guys, but one of the hardest things that I had to do was actually take stuff out of the packaging. I don't know why I want all my stuff in the package, but I didn't have the space. So I had no choice but to open everything. So yeah, it was hard. I don't know why. It's so silly. But anyway, these are all my coin envelopes, my happy mail envelopes. Um, I did go to Daiso store when I was traveling with my husband and I was able to pick up a bunch of fun bags from there. Tuesday morning was selling them for a while so I scooped them up. Um, yeah, these Tuesday morning I love. You know, I should actually move these. If you remember, I have up here everything that is state related. So that is going to now go up there. Okay. <laughs> Um, anyways, all bags. And down in here, I have all more bags. Okay, so these must be envelopes. Okay, yeah, so these are primarily envelopes. These are more bags. So, like, these went on sale at Hobby Lobby for, like, $1.24. So, I picked up a bunch of those because I put these in my albums or I make mini loaded bags for my pen pals. So, there's those bags. Uh, scrappy mom bags, paper bags. These are all the bags from Hobby Lobby when they went on clearance. I found these at Goodwill. It was a case and they have little puppy puppy paws on them and they're clear, they're square, they're adorable. I'll also trade some of them if anyone's interested. Clear boxes, clear uh, big envelopes so your cards don't get crushed and then some bigger bags back there. Okay. Whew, this is, this is exhausting. <laughs> okay. So this is just where I keep spare banners, labels, um, post-it notes, tickets, white out, uh, more labels and tape. And in here I keep all of my corners, all my stickers, all of these, um, just so that they're all in one place. And then these are all of my reinforcements. And then I found the reinforcements punch on clearance, so I keep that in there as well. And here, yes it is, it is my lovely Skittles. Oh, aren't they so pretty? Yes, I do still sell Skittles. Um, just because I was coaching and working, I didn't have time to promote them like I used to. But yes, my blog is still up and running. The store is still open, so if anybody's interested, yes, you can still buy Skittles. I have tons of different colors. They're all on my website, and they're all beautiful. Okay, so there's my Skittles. And in here is my drawer of tags. I'll come on this side, because I usually sit at my desk, and this would be the direction. So, uh, again, I took these all out of the packages, and... Um, when I make tag flips or do mail swaps, this is, I just grab tags from here. I love to make tags, I like to receive tags. And so yeah, this whole drawer is nothing but beautiful tags. I love it. Okay, and down here, um, I'm a huge journaler, uh, tracker of all things. So these are all the journals that I've picked up on clearance, and this is perfect, the Busy Bee, because that's me. Um, spare travelers, notebooks, covers. So yeah, this whole drawer is just that. Okay, so now when we come under my desk, which is really the only storage, like, 
uh, unaccessible, easily storage is under my desk. So I keep, this is stuff for Happy Mail, like empty boxes. I keep my Skittle making supplies down there. Um, in here I have spare supplies. So these are like extra wooden veneers, extra brads, extra tags. Um, this is that Creative Charms company. This is my Project Life. So when I get a Project Life kit, I try and find one, someone to swap cards with. So if you have a kit that is different from mine, I cut my cards in half and then you send me your half and I send out my half because you know, you get so many of the same cards. So these are all the extra cards from other kits that I get from people and I just label them by which, which um, Project Life kit they're from. So I do have two kits if ever, anybody's interested in swapping. I do have two new kits that I haven't opened yet. Okay, in here I keep all of my, and this thing actually wheels out, which is super convenient. In here is all of my, um, what is it called? My bookmaking uh, binder albums. So some of them are already pre-made and these are all of the charms. So I found this giant um, box of book rings at Goodwill. It was like a dollar. And then when I acquire them, I just put them all together and I know that this is where I keep them all. And I keep my paper bags for the albums that I make from scratch. And then that just slides right into place back there. Okay, in these bins, these are super heavy. These have vintage books, um, vintage papers, all things for junk journaling, which it is on my list of things to do to make a giant junk journal so I can junk journal my entire life because right now I use the old smash books and I love them and I'm a huge believer but I would really love to make my own so that's what these two bins are this one is empty scrapbooks that I make for other people so if someone's looking for a baby album I usually will have an album in there that I will make for them specific for what they're looking for and then on top is all vintage -y things that I find um, at Goodwills that I would like to be in one of those bins, but those bins are full. So for now, it just stays up there. Um, I can't remember what is in this box, and I just put this box down here. Oh, you know what's in there? That is extra um, craft supplies that I had duplicates of that I didn't want to get rid of. So we'll be going to my pen pals. So that's what's in that bottom box. It's all brand new craft supplies to go to pen pals. Um, these are travel books, um, travel books, travel bags um, for if I ever travel and scrapbook, which I've never done that, but that's what those are. And then that bin is also all for pen pals. Um, in here, what is in here? This is empty containers, I think. And yes, it's empty organizing containers, which I probably won't really use that because now that my room is done, I don't think I had it because I was swapping stuff around, but I, I pretty much done. I don't really have a place for anything else. So I'll have to probably pull that out and actually go through it. In here, I keep all of my album making kits so I scored these at Goodwill you know those kits that you would purchase when you went to one of those scrapbooking events well I scored these at the Goodwill and they're brand new and a whole bunch of them so yeah love that and then up here okay so you know what this is this is all the original Target dollar spot um, page flags and washi tape. Do you guys remember these? They were such a hot commodity. Well, I went through my stash and I, I was going to put these up for sale for a dollar each. You know what I paid for them plus shipping. So yeah, if anyone is interested in purchasing these, 
I, I'll only sell it as a whole, but if you're interested, let me know. I'll calculate how many items there are. They're a dollar each plus shipping, and it would be yours if you're interested. And okay, so I went to an estate sale and I found like um, carbon paper, like original stuff. Isn't that amazing? And like all of these old vintage, um, oh, I can actually smell the vintage carbon stuff in there. And then in here, this is all stuff for my pen pals. Yeah. Okay. So over here, I have my light box and my giant project life album, which is supposed to be for me, but I have yet to start anything project life related. Okay. So really quick, I'm going to continue up because then I'm going to have to end this video. Okay, so these are the Ikea pegboards. Um, would I get them again versus like the Home Depot ones? I'm not sure because nothing really sits in those clips in these holes like you could buy at Ikea. Uh, like at Home Depot, I mean. So I don't know. Now that I've invested the money and it's here, it's fine. But if I could go back, I would probably just buy the pegboard because then I could cram way more stuff onto there. But these, I just, these are those Starbucks glass jars. They fit in here perfectly. I store my pearls, extra buttons. This one's empty, my mini flowers. I love to find little vintage goodies. These are like vintage nuns. Do you see those little vintage nuns? Isn't that awesome? Like, look at how old that is. Okay, uh, these are my Nouveau drops, which I really stink at using those. Um, my collection of staplers. Okay, so I have a thing for staplers. I love vintage staplers. I'll show you my other vintage ones, but I love staplers of all kinds. So I use those right up here. And then here I have my, you know, these scissors that make the trim. I don't know what they're called. Fringe scissors. There we go. Fringe scissors. My brayer. Um, my specialty markers for my planner more specialty markers for my planner, my good scissors, um, flowers that I always forget that I have. So now they're showing cactus because I live in Arizona. These are extra pens and pencils and supplies, all my mini flowers, some Tim Holtz weird looking girls, my thread and bobbins for my sewing machine, just some fun ribbon, more enamel dots, or what are these, the melted pony beads. And then these are just giant buttons that I've gotten in Happy Mail, some bling, and some empty jars. Okay, so these were the last of the shelves that my husband just put in this past week. Up there, I keep my albums that are already complete. Um, I have like a baby one done, a barbecue one done. In this big bin, I keep all my personal Smashbook journals. Almost all mine are Smashbook, so they are all in there. And these are where I keep my kits. So I just found this like Crafter's Companion one at Tuesday morning. Well, not just, like a couple weeks ago. And then here I keep, well, let me climb onto my chair. Ugh. Okay, so in here I keep like certain kits like emoji stuff and uh, running health uh, stickers and stamps and like certain colors that only go together together and then a couple of um, uh, the paper pumpkin kits. So I keep kits up in there. These are those giant bags that I'm always talking about the extra large from the Dollar Tree. And in here I keep all plastic bags for shipping, organizing, and happy mail. So that's all there. Um, in here, this is all of my sewing supplies, just spare needles, fabric cutting tools, extra fabric and thread. And in here I keep my um, planner, journaling, sticker books. I got these on clearance. Um, I, I don't remember where I got them, but they were like $2. Hello? And then all of these, I've gotten these all on clearance as well. Or I get Staples rewards, and I will just use my Staples rewards to buy these as well. But most of them are just on clearance. And then these are all um, stamps that are planner related. More stamps that are planner related. 
and then these are uh, just stickers that are all um, planner stickers, planner kits, and all those cute things. Set up like this is my planner, this is my cutting, and so I finally have my sewing machine out, and I use it not only on uh, paper crafts, but I have used it recently to make some masks. So it has been really helpful to have that out and easily accessible. And then right above it, I keep my sewing supplies. So it's really convenient to have it right here. Um, behind it, I have like my big spell binders. And when I use it, I just pick it up and I put it to right here. So it's, it's fine. I have my cuddle bug out all the time, so I don't use this one as much. And behind here, um, let me see if I can close these blinds that might help with some of the shadowing. So I keep um, some of my ribbon, a lot of my ribbon I have hanging back there. And then I also have it stored like over here, but I kind of color coded it the best that I could um, so that it's out and easily accessible. And then this is where I a lot of times come and put my crafts together. I have a stool that I keep right here and I just slide it uh, between the cutting station, my putting together area, and where I keep some basic tools, my ribbons accessible, and then my hot glue gun plugs in right underneath. And so I keep um, my hot glue gun mat with that out. And then this is where I cut my fabric. So this stays out all the time. Um, I have some uh, other sewing supplies in here and then more ribbon. Let me see if I can change the way I'm standing. That makes it worse or better. Uh, this is my cutter. I got this at Costco years ago. Definitely would love to have another one. So if I ever see it again, I definitely pick it up. It works amazing and I love it. Um, so underneath, I have this paper rack that I picked up from I think it was staples and it houses all of my eight and a half by 11 paper. So most of it's cardstock. I do have some specialty papers. Um, you know, like this is all felt foam. Um, so I keep that up there cause it's eight and a half by 11. This is like tracing paper, some specialty vellum papers, but most of it is just the cardstock that you can get at like Joann's and Michael's. And then I keep my chalk in this little drawer um, just so I could just grab that little box when I need chalk. So yeah, um, that's just where I keep my paper. Up here, I keep extra ribbon. And there's two boxes back there of extra ribbon. And this is ribbon that I don't normally use. It would be like if I was making Happy Mail with tassels because it's thinner ribbon. So that's what's in there. And I have my... Um, scoring board and then this um, is the 12 by 24 Cricut paper that they used to sell uh, along with um, you know large size papers and then I have these three drawer bins these are from Walmart I got them at a yard sale super inexpensive and what I keep in them, let's see, this is, um, I just fed an extension cord behind here because that's where the outlet is. So there's some cords in the way, but in the bottom drawer, this is all my Smashbooks and I love Smashbooks, everything about them. And I do journal regularly in, in my Smashbooks. So I do actually use all this stuff that's in here. When I travel and I do travel, um, I always make myself a kit and I grab all the supplies from this, this drawer to take with me. And in this one, this is all of my um, Tim Holtz papers, embellishments, washi. So when I'm making something like vintage-y, I usually just pull this drawer out and I put it up here so I can, um, I pick through and organize it. And I'll show you on my island how I do that too. And in here, um, this drawer has all packaging for Happy Mail. It has confetti, mini boxes, tissue, shreds, pom-poms, just anything to make Happy Mail cute. And then up here I have this organizer that I just keep my massive high temperature hot glue gun and the glue sticks. And then I have this little tray that I keep all my 
mini uh, glue sticks in. And then this is just my stool that I slide from spot to spot and I use, I stand on that when I need to reach my upper cabinets. Okay, in the top I just have my, um, my smaller ribbon um, sorted. So I uh, like my pom-pom trims and when these all went on sale for like 24 cents at Hobby Lobby, I picked up some of the ones that I thought I would use. So I'll keep that up on top here. And then this is the same, just some um, more lace trims. And up here I keep all of my fun foam. I use this to make dimensions on my project. So there's fun foam. And I guess probably maybe felt in this one as well, or felt might be in the bottom one. No, it's felt in here. So felt and fun foam I keep in this top one. And this is my Valentine's Day drawer. And I, I did post a Valentine's Day stash, not this past Valentine's Day, but the one before. And I haven't really acquired much since I posted that video, if you're interested. And in here I have, this is like, barbecue themed summer themed embellishments so if i'm looking for something specific i know it's over here and then this is like um the seven gypsies kit and supplies and it's very tim holtzy um so if i was going to do something that looks like this i would pull this bin with that drawer next to it so that's that so that's the underneath and then I'll show you above my windows. That is my collection of troll dolls that I've had most of them since I was a kid. Um, and the ones that have made it, you know, through my moves and stuff as an adult. And then my QB doll collection. So we put up these little display shelves so that I could look at them when in my, my craft room. Okay. So after this counter ends, I have this little corner and I think what we're going to do, we've kind of been going back and forth about it because the window is right here and I don't want anything coming out into the window, but we were thinking of building these dowel rods from this little corner and then to where the door comes to. Um, so I can hang my punches. So right now I have it on this prototype that one of my girlfriends made. And these are the punches that I use the most. You may have saw the ones on the other side of my room. Those are the punches that I love, but these are the ones that I use the most. So I just keep them here and I slide my cart out of the way. Um, and it just slides, it's, it's easy to move. And then these are the, uh, the only punches that I kept. Like I said, I purged more than half of them. It was hard, but I wanted to be able to at least see what I have. And then over here, this is where I keep, um, cause my cutter is right here. I throw my cuts in here and then they eventually get filed into this bin. So when I'm making stuff with my Cricut, I just grab this and I try and use my scrap paper first. And then in this paper organizer, which I picked up from a scrapbooking store that was closing down by my work for like $10. I just keep, this is like extra vinyl, giant doilies, lace things. These are like ticket tags. Um, you know that they used to sell these books that had just nothing but like tickets and tags in them. And these are more labels. These are paper kits that I haven't even opened. This is all black and white kits and paper. Um, this is actually chipboard, all of my chipboard. I have some uh, ones that I've cut into that I keep up by my bind it all, but these are like new ones. And then these are all just colored cardstock, 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 and cardstock. So that's what I keep in this. Uh, tower and then I keep my Razcog cart that I slide around when I'm working. The top shelf is all of my washi. Well, I have another area that I keep washi. This is most of my washi. I did purge about double this. 
So this is what I have left. I try to color code it. It's double stacked tray. So that's my double stacked tray. And then some new ones that I just recently found at Tuesday morning. And then some of these ones that I found uh, online. And this is where I store my project life cards. So this basket comes off and these were the um, making memory pocket pages, I think it was. Who's this? Oh, me and my big ideas. So um, these are just theirs and I just took the back off because um, it shows you in detail everything that's in there. So that's those type of cards. And then these are all Project Life. And I mean, I tried to kind of keep them by the kit, but you know, when you pull something out and you don't know where it goes back. So it's mostly organized, but not fully. So yeah, so that's my Project Life. Um, these are some miscellaneous die cut pieces. Um, yeah, I did purge this. I donated um, probably two of these full ones, and I just kept the ones that I thought I might use. Um, I probably should have these out on my desk with the other ones. I'm probably more likely to use them. Anyway, these are more Project Life. Uh, these are Project Life style, but I think a different brand because they're square. And then a bunch of these little books that I got, I want to say they were on like super cheap clearance somewhere. And then like those two by two sets back there. Um, so it, these do look like they're in a weird place and I wouldn't use them often, but when I make an album, I flip through all these things that I have and I pull the stuff that I might use if the color is similar. So um, I'm looking through my supplies a lot and uh, getting good use out of them. Okay, so let's get over to my island. So my husband built this island at my other house. It's two Ikea units on the side. He drilled them together. And then we had a company come and make a glass top for it. So on the top, I keep my cuddle bug. And um, underneath, this is one of those uh, Keurig coffee um, pod holders, but it holds washi tape perfectly and this is like my favorite washi tape my, my glitter and the fun stuff so I keep this washi tape up in here and my spare plates uh, one of these little spin things I keep the glues I use these are all different kind of hole punches my another stapler my ATG gun some rulers another stapler more glues my uh, piercing tool and then this is just magnetic, so I have my pliers, my spatulas, bone folders, little knives that I keep there. Um, back here, this is all sticky paper, so it's paper that has uh, sticker backing, so that if I want to cut something, it would automatically be sticky. So I keep that stuff separate. Um, this is all of my mini stamps. So I got rid of all my big Tim Holtz ones and now I just have all the mini ones. And they all have sponges on the bottom so I just keep this up there so um, when I go to use a stamp the sponge is on the bottom and I just connect it to that. These are my glues that are kind of opened and that I use the most. And in this basket these are the dies that are just basic shapes that I use the most. Envelope dies, doilies scenes, um, words, just ones that I just gra gravitate more towards the most. So I just keep them so I could flip through them um, when I'm crafting. And I keep my inks that I use the most right here easily accessible. And then dyes that I just, I don't know where they belong anymore because I've used them so often that they've come out of the packages. Mainly just... Um, banner and flags and like cute ones so I just keep them on these spell binders like giant diamond magnets and in here I keep my staples another stapler my double-sided tape pop dots um, my blocks 
and in here I keep all of my crepe paper and I usually get all this stuff at the dollar at not the dollar store at the Goodwill and it's in like a big bag with all different colors for really inexpensive so that's where I get that from and then I have this clear organizer that has some of my tools bling just that I would use really quickly to finish up a project uh, these are like all hearts um, these are just the embellishments that I've made, tickets, this is glues, uh, more tape, stars, and miscellaneous stuff. This is just like a notebook, and when I'm filming, um, this is, I put it in this spiral bind, and I'm able to flip my camera down to look right here, so that's how I film. This is just some organizing boxes. When I'm working on a project, I put the stuff in there and my baby wipes. And then this is where I keep all of my words, sentiments to add to projects. So these are all just word stickers and cutouts and flat things that I don't want to get ruined. Some chipboard that don't really have sets that they belong to. So yeah, I keep all of them right under here so I remember to flip through it and then I have this locker rack that just gives me like some higher space but it doesn't like change the view of my window I purged almost all of my stickers this is what I have left just stickers that I feel like I might use and so I just flip through them when I'm looking and um, yeah so these are just the stickers that I have left and it's really easy to flip through and see what I have when I'm working on a project. If I'm matching a color, I just pull it out. And if I use it, great. If I don't, that's fine too. So over here, what I usually use this for, this is from Ikea. Um, so say it's like Valentine's Day, I'll pull out my Valentine's drawer, Valentine's Day drawer that's under there, and I'll put it right here. And I will take everything out and organize it. By. I'll put the paper, supplies, and all the things in this unit so that while I'm creating for Valentine's Day, everything is out. So I'll utilize this and this and like this whole counter for something very specific. Like especially if I'm doing like something that's baby related and I'm pulling down those two boxes and that, well then I'll keep them here and I'll divide them of what I think I'm gonna use here and then I'll start creating here and then put it together over there. So I make everything work. <laughs> right now I've been concentrating on making cards because my supply was low. So this is where I just keep some of the stamps that I've been using the most so that I remember these are the ones um, that I wanna use. Um, some new magazines that came in that I have to put away. Some one lines that my daughter's friend drew that I'm going to paint and probably hang on my wall. Aren't they beautiful? She did a really wonderful job. And then in here is my December daily papers. So I wanted to do a December daily last December. So what, it's April 2020 right now. I did not get to do a December daily. So I'm hoping since it's out, I will have time to do my December daily before next December of 2020. And then here's another vintage stapler and just my scotch tape. Okay, so in the islands, I'm gonna try to really like buzz through here because the video's getting long. Okay, so in these boxes is ribbons and I have three of these boxes in addition to my other ribbon. Um, this is just all packages of ribbon in this cubby um, my overflow of uh, paper flowers and other types of flowers some stampin up eyelets and then uh, these bins are all sorted I have um, actually I'm gonna come on the other side because that's where the um, handles are so these are all um, organized brads and all organized clips and more clips and the, I have so many clips because I make the journal so I clip every like on every single page and these are Brad's now I was on the design team for uh, Brad company so um, I did acquire a lot of them from being on that 
design company. The same with, I was on a couple different stamp companies, so I have a lot of stamps from that. And I was also on a ribbon company, so I do have a lot of ribbon because of that. Um, so yeah, these are more Brad's. And then the bottom two are buttons. So lots of buttons. They're so pretty to look at. And I've been really trying to use my buttons. So I have a mix uh, that I keep in a jar by my desk. So I try to remember to pull from them. And then there's another big one of buttons back there. So that's on those cubbies. And up here, I keep, um, so these are extra cutting plates. These are like the giant dies that belong to, that work with the, the spell binders, the grand caliber, just the really, uh, really big dies. And this is just more ephemera. Uh, I forgot about this one. Yeah, I feel like I need to, I don't know, like do something else with this. Um, so I use it. Okay. Anyways. Okay. So these are all of my cuddle bug embossing folders. I used to use these on every single project and I don't know why I need to just start using them more because, um, they're right here. My cuddle bug is right above them and I have, uh, I have tons of them, all different kinds. Um, anyway, so this is the old fashioned Sizzix Alphas and I love this font. So yeah, Alpha Bubbles, super cute. I got it at Goodwill for like $2. And then in here, in this awesome case from Ikea, it's just like super long. This is where I keep all of the miscellaneous dies. You know, these are old school. <laughs> really old school uh how the dyes used to come you know back in the day so yeah i have a ton of them these ones i love these are the old provo craft where they had the outline and then you know the actual dye that it fit with so yeah these are just all of those i have another alpha set in there and then some different kinds of embossing folders so that's there two things of embossing folders and then that sits right on top so yeah this I'm gonna have to relocate so I remember to use it okay so down in here these are my glimmer mists so I keep some of the ones that I use the most out I'm sorry I'm trying to do this with one hand so those are my glimmer mists in here in this um this container I keep my doilies this is all calendar um, seasonal weird stuff but I know when I need something with a date this is where I come to and then this is like everything nautical themed so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand let's see okay there we go so stickers buttons Bling, anything that when I see like nautical, I just throw in there. That was my main project. I know to come and look. And then this is extra clips um, that didn't really fit in my clip bin, so I keep them on this side. And this was just pen pal to me, so I just keep them over there. In here, I have all of my embossing full, uh, powders. In here, oh, I have more glitter in here. <sighs> okay, so I have it also on my Rascog cart. And I also have a glitter box here. So yeah, and I don't even use glitter that often because it's so messy. Um, and then here's flocking. I used to use flocking all of the time as well. And I have all the Martha Stewart ones. And the Stampin' Up! ones. So yeah, this is where I keep all of the flock. My flocking. And I have my paper trimmer. Um, the old Creative Memory one. Found this at Goodwill. I was so excited because I had been looking for one. So this is summer themed. This is pets. This is my laminator. My laminating sheets. 
And here is all of my tool and fluff that I use for my projects. And um, okay, over here I have like my really long cuddle bug uh, cut it, cutters for my long dies. Like I have my a rosette die and like some of these long tabs and uh, long embossing things. And then I just keep some of my um, favorite stamps down there as well. So these are just some of my stamps. These are some of my word stamps that I use. And then in these two baskets, I just slide them out and let's see. Okay. Okay. So sorry about that. So this is where I keep all of just my dies and I took most of them out of the packaging. I try and keep them together. Like these are all my bows. Um, yeah, just, yeah, I just keep all my dies this way. I tried to do them on magnetic sheets, but it didn't always work, and, um, yeah. So, those are my dies, and then back in the day, you know, before they had, like, these fancy dies, this was how you bought dies, and they just came attached to the back of the card, so I have a ton of the old Spellbinders dies, just all different kinds, the nesting dies, of all shapes and sizes and yeah and then I have like my bigger die sets like my small binder ones over here and then same with um, this basket it's still like just all dies found these all at Tuesday morning A ton of paper smooches dies dynamic dies yeah this one I just bought on Amazon. It's the candy corn, super cute. So yeah, and then these are like bigger dies, some with embossing folders, ones that I use more often. I picked up a bunch of these on clearance at Hobby Lobby. So yeah, that's where I store all of my dies. And so yeah, so that's the one side of my island. And on the other side of my island which isn't as interesting so in here I just keep all these smaller paper pads um, that you know I just flip through and they don't really have a theme or anything like that so I have a whole bunch of those that I just keep in this bin from Ikea and I purged all uh, my paper pads, so this is kind of like the paper pads that I use the most, and if they have like embellishments that go with them, I try and keep the embellishments in the area, so I'm like, oh, I have this paper pad, and now I know that these embellishments go with it, and like, I have these embellishments, and I know I have this paper pad, the Heidi Grace one in here, so, um, so yeah, so these are my paper pads. These are specialty papers like foiling, uh, gl more glitter, but there was other paper mixed in with it, so I didn't want to put it with just my glitter. So colored cardstock, and then these are like the squares and the, the 12 by 2 adhesive ones. Keep them there. And down here is all my So Easy and appliques and sewing supplies. I keep them everything organized with all of the tools, um, some zippers, some more sewing supplies, which actually this should be up in my sewing because I was looking for the red and I couldn't find it. But this I usually use for paper packing. And then all of my sew it, uh, the tools and attachments and the thread for it, I keep in there. And in this purple bin, I have all these, um, they were the, the, you could make your own brad machine, this thing. I don't remember what it's even called. Topper, Imaginese, I think it was the topper. So you could make your own brads with this. And I bought all of the papers to do it. I bought all of the punches to do it. And, um, 
yeah, it's all in here with fabric to make your own, but I have yet to do that. So that's in there. And then in here I have smaller paper pads, frames, extra embellishments. And then this is more eight and a half by 11 paper that didn't fit in the rack that I keep over there. And then this is all my six by six. I have four of these little crates and yeah, I just keep all of my six by six paper pads in here. So it works out good because I could just flip through them. And then, like I said, if I have like this one has an embellishment that goes with it, I just put it behind it. So I know, okay, this paper pad has these embellishments with it. So I have four of those crates. Um, they fit two and two, two and two. And then in the middle, these are, guess what it is? More ribbon. Yeah. Uh, and more ribbon. So yeah, tons of ribbon. Um, these are like eight and a half by 11 paper pads. Um, and I, like I said, I did purge. These are just ones that I plan to use. I do use these for albums and making embellishments with. So um, I have those. And in this bin is all of my junk journaling personal things. So photos or mementos that I actually want to journal, I keep in there until I'm ready to journal. So that's in that bin. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, up here is more of my favorite paper pads. And then these are just individual sheets. So before I got rid of my paper pads, my 12 by 12s, I flipped through them. And if there was a page that I really liked, I pulled it out and I keep it in here. And then when I'm making a project, I'll flip through here and pull out, you know, certain papers. Um, here's more plain mini papers. And in this basket, I keep, um, you know, these mini books that they used to sell at Michael's and Joann's. I think they still sell these at Hobby Lobby. This size, what size is this? Four and a half by six and a, and a half. So these are like the mat size. So I have a ton of these from like back in the day. I mean, I've been crafting since like 2009. So a lot of this, this stuff is from back then. But yeah, anyway, I could probably break these down and sort them back into more of a themed situation, but um, I don't know, maybe. Um, and in here, these are all of my seed beads, my pins, um, my glass beads, and yeah, like just containers of beads and um, seed beads, lots of them. So that's what all those are. Big plastic beads, little seed beads, big charm beads, so lots of beads. So, okay guys, well, I think this wraps up my craft room tour. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's been fun. I really loved creating this room this time and getting to sort through all my things. And now I'm crafting regularly and really utilizing all of the things that I have. And yeah, so if anyone's interested in pen paling, uh, in swapping things or you see something that you like that um, you may want to do pen paling with, please uh, just direct message me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is double click connect. And yeah, that's, that's about it guys. Thanks so much for keeping me company on my craft room 2020 uh, reveal. I hope everyone stays safe and stays well and everybody takes care. Thanks guys. Bye.